Billings fam, welcome back. If we have some new people out there, welcome in general. I wanna give you a little bit about us just in case you've been around or you haven't been around. We are house billings and typically, if you have been around, you notice that we do a lot of fish, turtles, rescues like that, but a lot of the aquarium industry. But we did step outside that a little bit and we dealt with some chickens this past year. So we have two, we have Clover and Henny. I'll pop them up on the screen so you can see them. They are great pets, we love them and they started giving us eggs this winter, which has been absolutely amazing. You've heard us talk about it briefly in other videos, but the benefits of having organic eggs has just been amazing. So we this year wanted to get into it a little bit more and get some more. So what we did, went to our friends over at Pondering Creations and we got some fertilized eggs. Really cool. So what we are going to try and do over the course of this video is see if we can hatch some baby chickens ourselves. Really cool. So uh, Liza and Kevin over there lent us their uh, um, incubator and we got some eggs and basically over the next 21 days by the end of this video you're going to see we're either going to hopefully hatch some eggs or not. Now they have had a little bit of success with it. Um, but they also do have a lot of uh, chickens there that went what they call broody, which means they will hatch them themselves, which is really cool. So obviously we don't have that luxury. We are going to try out the incubator, see what happens. So I hope you stick around. Again, I know this is a little bit different than what we normally do, but we do have some chicken, chicken lovers out there. So I think they want to see this. And again, we're eventually going to grow, guys. We don't want to just stick to the rescues of fish and turtles. We want to broaden it so we can do everything. Our main goal, I told you one day, is to have a farm so we'll have all sorts of animals. So this is a really cool way to do that. So we have done a ton of research on this, but again, it's our first time. So if you want to kind of learn with us along the way, make sure you watch from beginning to finish because we're going to go through everything. One of the things we did do before we put the eggs in, we sprayed it with 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can pick that up at any local pharmacy, drugstore, Walmart, all of that. Um, make sure it's the 3%. It's supposed to help out. Um, or as you can see over here, there's a temperature and there's humidity. The temperature you want anywhere from 99 to 102. Really 102 is kind of pushing it. Um, so without further ado, let's get these eggs in. <laughs> That's pretty much the start, guys, right? Good luck to us here, I'm excited. Um, gotta monitor it, there is a lot of work with this. There are things you pretty much gotta do on a daily basis, I think. How many times a day do you have to turn the eggs? At least Two or three. three. Yeah, so you gotta turn these. Oh, hi. Hi. What you woke up from your nap, huh? Did you wake up and start eating cookies? He's <laughs> grumpy. All right, guys, we are flipping the eggs for about the first time sometimes tricky they want to roll here but you want to do this at least three times a day and mark each side so you can see that you flipped it and you want to flip it the long way like this um, you can invest in an automatic flipper which is fine we are trying to do this this first time with just everything on our own without having to uh get a flipper of any sort turner turner flipper Egg flipper, egg turner. All right, guys, we are here with our eggs. It is day nine. We are gonna do what's called candling of the eggs. We are using a flashlight. If you do wanna use an actual candling device, you can get them on Amazon. We'll put a link down below. A simple flashlight will suffice. So all we're doing right now is checking for the embryos in the eggs. If there is no embryo forming, we're gonna get rid of the eggs and dispose of them because they're just basically an unfertilized egg. They can go bad, it can spread to the other eggs. Hopefully what you see is a bunch of veins and basically a little blob somewhere in there that is the embryo and it will be kind of floating around. And that means that it is at least fertilized and the process is starting. Keep them in here, fingers crossed. So I'm gonna shut the lights off. Georgie is very excited for this. I'm gonna kill the lights and we are gonna do this together. All right guys, let's, let's kind of see. Can't see. Can you see? Oh, hold on. What's over here? What is that? Is that blob and embryo or no? I can't. I can't see anything. So we are doing this. I obviously haven't done this before, 
but we've watched a few videos. I don't necessarily see all the veins and stuff like e like you could easily see, but if you can kind of tell right there, there is, I'm trying to tilt it so you can see, there's an air sac, yep, you can see that on video. There's an air sac right there, which is a good sign. That's what they would breathe. And I do see kind of a big mass up here. I have turned it over to the expert Tay here because I was not doing it properly. Can you see Okay. Right here? Yeah, I can see a little embryo. Yeah. Cool. All right, guys. So that's a, that's some that's cool news. So that one's definitely good. We've checked a few. Uh, it's it's a little bit harder than originally thought of how to kind of tell, but you can see. Let's check the next one. It's weird. Lots of spots. What does that mean? I don't either. I don't see any sort of mass. The, this egg, as you can see, guys, pretty easy to tell. Lots of spots. Almost look like a lot of almost a lot of air pack. Pockets. I think Pockets. that's just the egg itself. Oh, okay, good. Oh, yeah, 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 I see that, okay. But there's no air sac down here. There's no air sac. I don't see any sort of mass at all or embryo. Okay, so let's keep that one out. It's a dud. It's a dud, unfortunately. All right, guys, really cool. So there is an air sac in that one. That's a, that's good sign number one. So I, it looks like what you're doing is kind of holding your fingers around it. Yeah, so that there's like it, no light escapes you. Yeah, you have to like cut Really it. cool. So you can definitely see a mass there, oh. and I can see it moving, for sure. That's, that's right here. Yeah. It's mm, kind of hard to see. Oh no! Oh, right there! Right there! Perfect. Yeah, you can see the veins right there. And then there's the little. Oh yeah! 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 Ooh, cool! Billings fan, we got some got some chicks growing. Chicks growing. All right, guys. So that's pretty much how it works. We're gonna go through the rest of these quickly, and at the end, I'm gonna let you know how many we think might possibly. All right, guys, so really good news. Out of the 11 eggs that we have, 10 have some form of embryo in it that we can see, which is really cool. All of them had air sacs as well, which is another good thing to have. Um, so the one that we didn't see anything, we are gonna crack open, just make sure. Uh, and then, guys, it's really just a waiting game. We keep doing this till, what'd you say, till day what? Till about day 18 you do this, and then we gotta change up the routine, which obviously we'll show you in here. But so far, guys, this is really fun, really exciting. I can't wait to see what happens from this, but I am gonna switch here. I'm gonna let Tay take this egg and crack open and let's see what happens. <laughs> we were correct. There we go. Just a scrambled egg. All right, guys, so as you can see, we were correct. No embryo in there. If you did open this and you see any spots of blood or a little white spot somewhere in there, it means it was fertilized to a, again, to a degree, but it probably wasn't forming still you would by now see a decent sized embryo and probably a good amount of blood if, if you were incorrect. All right, it is day 18, guys. This is lockdown day. Lockdown day basically means we got all the eggs in here. We are not gonna open the incubator for the next three to five days, three to five days, right around. There's a couple of really crucial things right now that you need to make sure to do once you get to this point. Humidity being number one. Humidity right now, we usually keep around 45 to 55, right around there. But at this point, it has to go all the way up to about, what was it, 65% to 75? Mm -hmm. 65, 70, 65, 70. 75, right around that. It has to be there. Um, it's a really crucial step. And this is one of the things that when we were talking to Liza from Ponder and Creations, I think this was one of the difficulties they were having. Um, and I think we're kind of seeing why. So we've done a couple of things to really help with the humidity in here. We put more water in there. We got a humidifier in here, you can see. I can feel it in here, guys. It almost feels moist in here. Um, and the thing is still only reading 50%. I promise you that's not correct. I know for a fact it's not, because when there was no water in there, it was reading almost 50%. So I think the thermometer in there, it's not a thermometer. What the hell's it called? Barometer? Whatever reads the moisture in there, I believe is off because there is no way it's 50%. You can see the moisture on the uh, on the glass here. And I can literally, I can feel it. You can feel it coming off of it out of the little hole here. So we're hoping that it is right. Now we want to be able to do this in the future. So we're probably going to get some better products. We'll probably get, uh, you know, a nicer incubator. This was great. We are super pleased that we could even have the chance to do this from Liza. So um, hopefully it works. And then we'll just go on from there and get something a little bit better in the future. But that's it guys. Day 18, lockdown day. Fingers crossed. I almost, I almost said fingers crossed and did thumbs up. <laughs> fingers crossed. And uh, hopefully we get some, uh, we get some little buddies soon. All right, guys, so crazy update. I was outside taking care of ducks, letting them swim. K Tay came running out, told me our little buddy hatched. This is crazy. 
I can't believe this and we got it on camera. Coolest thing ever. outside taking care of ducks. I'm gonna flip this around so you can see. I can't open it, but I'm gonna video the video. Hold on. There's a chicken. Look at him. I see him. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Don't mind, look at, look at, we had to keep all the humidity in. We got underwear, socks, everything. Whatever we could do, we had to cover holes so that humidity stayed in there. All right, guys, so we gotta leave him in there for 24 hours. And hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, Billings fam, that we have a couple of others hatched because they really can't be alone. So if they don't, we will put him into a, bro a brooder, which stay tuned, we're gonna build a little DIY brooder for him. And if another one does not hatch, we are gonna go to the same place where we got Clover last year and we will get him another one. You can hear him. He is in there making some noise. Again, don't mind the setup here. We gotta keep everything covered to keep the moisture in there because it's gotta stay, the humidity's gotta stay up there for him. So um, he'll be in there. He'll eat off of the little yolk sack for that first 24 hours and then we'll put him in the brooder like I said. Um, guys, do me a favor. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like. This took a lot of work. We put a lot of effort into this. I hope you guys liked it. We're gonna start doing some more things like this. We'll try some more eggs, maybe some different eggs, maybe some dug, duck. Dugs, maybe we'll hatch some dugs. Some ducks, maybe some geese or something. I don't know, we'll try some other eggs. This was really cool. I really, really hope that we hatch some more. I hope it's not just him. We also gotta figure out which kind he is. Um, I don't know exactly yet, but we will figure it out. Cause I, like I said, I think we had three or four different kinds. So we'll reach out to Liza and um, over at Pondering Creation, see if she can help out. But guys, hear him? As always, Billings fam, peace. Subscribe below, look at this guy. He wants to get they always come over to us. We are walking to PetSmart. Very, very small fish. Excellent guys. Fred is in great shape. Woo! Clovis, say hi. Is doing so much better underneath.